Hi guys, so I have had a not so great day, been very emotional, I may cry now, but you know, I came home and well yesterday I took a pregnancy test and, sorry, Yesterday I took a pregnancy test and it was it was positive but it was like I don't know it was really weird like I had a negative and then I suddenly had a wait no I had a positive then a negative then a positive again so I just had to make sure and so I waited the next day and I bought a, a first response a first response test <laughs> And I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of gross because I did I did get pee everywhere. But I am pregnant. And I am crying, but don't get me wrong, this isn't sadness, this is kind of happiness because I recently lost my baby in August. And I just really I'm really anxious at the same time, like, I did take two, just to prove it. I'm sorry, I'm just like ugly crying right now. This is just, I don't even know if you can see this one, this one's a bit, but you can definitely see it, second line. Sorry, I just feel like this is just, it's quite overwhelming, I'm very anxious as well. But I, I think I just need to keep staying positive and believe that this is a new pregnancy, a different story, a different ending, and I just really, really hope it goes well. So, just one more time to show you guys, just to prove that I'm not lying. I did take one yesterday, I'll show you that one now as well. I'll be right back. I just, I can't believe that I'm pregnant again and I just really hope, and there's, I'm just a bit overwhelmed at the moment so there's a lot of things going around my mind and like I am very scared that I might miscarry again but So I am nine weeks pregnant now, um, I think nine weeks and three days, or it could be four days, so next week I'll be ten weeks, which is exciting, double figures! Um, so this trimester, the first trimester, so far, because I know it's not, not finished yet, but has been so rough, like, it's just the fatigue, the the nausea, the morning sickness, I don't know what's worse to be honest, um, like they're all just as bad as each other, oh and by the way I've got a water bottle under my shirt, it's not a belly bump yet, um, uh, it's not really existing at the moment but maybe in a few weeks I'll be able to show you because it should be a little bit bigger um, and it does kind of look like I'm getting a bump already but I know like people were saying like oh it's not a bump yet because the baby is still in the pelvis so it is uh, literally just my womb growing so it's just bloating and fat at the moment <laughs> which is nice so so I had my scan at seven weeks I had a private scan and I actually got to hear the heartbeat and it was very strong very healthy Okay, so I've literally just woken up and also had quite bad morning sickness, so I probably don't look my best at the moment, but I'm going to show you my bump update, which seems a bit, like, pointless at the moment because it is, I'm only, um, 11 weeks and 5 days, so soon I'll be 12 weeks and I'm having my 12 week scan, but I just thought it would be good for 
later when I can compare them both and see how much I've like grown over the past few weeks when I get to about like 16 weeks or something. So here we go. Ooh. So as you can see it's very low down but you can see a little bit of tube on there and I could not wait for this 12 week scan just so, pardon me, just so I know that the baby's okay and I can announce it to, oh, sorry I keep getting hiccups in, for some reason this pregnancy I've just been having hiccups all the time, like every single day I have hiccups but it's not just it's it's always like one hiccup or two hiccups so yeah this is this is probably where the baby is right now and next week apparently according to my app it's gonna be the size of a baby chick well I'm guessing that's towards the end of week 12 but that's pretty cool and pretty cute Hi guys, so this is the last update for this video. So, um, a lot has happened over the past few days, uh, well, weeks, um, because of this whole coronavirus thing. So, uh, and you'd think that I'd have all the time in the world to make videos, but no, because I am just, I'm still, I've still been trying to get over this pregnancy fatigue and yeah anyway so this is the last update for this video because I am in my second trimester now and so it turns out I was actually further along than I thought and I went for my scan thinking I was 12 weeks um, exactly but I'm 12 weeks I was 12 weeks and four days so um, that was a nice surprise <laughs> So my due date's changed to the 18th of October and um, so yeah, the, there is a lot of worry at the moment because because of this coronavirus like and with me being pregnant and me giving birth like I'm just hoping it's all over by October and the, there is a chance I might not be able to have a baby shower or anything like that which would be disappointing but like I know it's not the end of the world and like um, it's better than catching the virus <laughs> so anyway uh, what was I gonna say yeah so I thought I'd show you my scan photos so like my last scan was just magical <laughs> because my first scan photo I didn't really get to see my baby move that much uh, because I was only seven weeks um, and but this time I saw it move and I, I was so anxious for the scan because I was so scared that something has gone wrong or there's no heartbeat or something so when I saw my little baby on the screen I just felt so reassured and you know what I actually have a funny story about my scan because the baby was very uncooperative <laughs> um, or well I, I don't know really it was he wasn't really uncooperative I think he was just really cozy in his little cocoon and like I'm saying he it could be a she and but like the the woman doing the ultrasound she really needed to take these measurements and so she needed the baby in a certain position and the baby I think it must have been asleep or something because when it first came on the screen it wasn't moving at all but she really needed to take these measurements and it had his had his legs curled up and his arms curled up like this and so she couldn't measure him properly from head to toe. That was um, quite an experience because <laughs> I had to try and wake the baby up and she said she told me to w uh, jump up and down for a start and the poor baby I felt so bad and so guilty because uh, she told me to jump up and down to wake him up and like try and get him moving a little bit and when I went um, so I lay down again for her to take the ultrasound again and the poor baby was going crazy and just like and the poor thing didn't know what was happening and like I just felt I don't I know it sounds silly but I felt really bad like I know it doesn't understand and like it probably gets tossed about all the time when I'm running upstairs and stuff like that but anyway I just felt really bad poor little thing and yeah I just really really fell in love on that ultrasound because just seeing my baby move and just I don't know I just felt this kind of love and protection and I just really wanted to protect the little baby like I was getting emotional and feeling sad because 
uh, when I jumped up and down it didn't like it and but it still wasn't uh, she still hadn't got the measurements she needed so she made me do all these exercises like uh, rolling around to try and get him into the right position I'm saying him again it could be a she um, and also she told me to have a walk around the car park and come back to get this baby hopefully to stretch out a bit which didn't really work but anyway we did get the measurements in the end um, just about <laughs> because my baby was just so cozy and curled up in there and I just felt really bad like and I just can't wait for my next ultrasound even though I've just had one at 20 weeks because I know I'll see more and I'll know the gender and I can give it a name and I just feel like it'd be more special to give it a name in pregnancy so then I can start calling it by its name rather than just calling it it or the baby. So yeah, that is my last update for this video. So there will be more update videos later on and a gender reveal, but that is all for this video and I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Here is my latest scan and there he or she is. The nub theory, um, when I posted it on a group, m many people predicted that it was a girl, but I'm not too sure about that because it liked to have its uh, legs curled up, so it could be hiding something. So um, yeah, that is my little baby. <laughs>